Before you can begin using your display, you will need to create a field for the data to be recorded to. Existing field data can be read into the display off a USB stick in both the AG GPS and AG data format. If running the auto sync feature, any previous created fields and its associated data will be automatically synced down to your display. To create a new field on the display itself, press the field tile and then select new. The field name must be completed at a minimum. If you would like to sort your fields by client and farm, you can choose to enter this in here or select from an existing drop down list. With your new field created, press the save button. Your new field will now automatically be selected and a new task created. Fields are represented on the map with a green pin. Pressing the run icon will open the field and drop a pin location in the current vehicle's position if this is the first time the field has been opened. You can also select a field by tapping the pin. With a field selected, any associated boundaries for that field will be displayed and your current vehicle position will be represented by an orange triangle. Available fields can be displayed either alphabetically or distance from vehicle. You can also have the ability to filter fields by client and farm to reduce the number of visible fields in the list. Any applied filters will be displayed and simply pressing the cross will remove that filter. Lastly, you can search for a field by tapping the search icon. To edit the name of the field or change the assignment of client or farm, press the edit button. Pressing delete will remove the field from the list. The current selected field will be displayed in the field tile along with its boundary and vehicle position. A field will contain information such as boundaries, point, line and area features and any guidance lines associated to that field. A field boundary will need to be created in order to display a field area. Once a field is created, you will also need to create a task. A task is the associated application data that is recorded to an operation. The task data contains specific information such as applied rate, vehicle speed, elevation and coverage data. To clear the coverage layer you see on the run screen for automatic section control or just coverage data, you need to create a new task. By selecting a new field or changing your implement type will automatically create a new task. The default task name will be that of the operation type you are performing with the timestamp of the current date and time. The task tile will display the percentage of area covered providing you have a field boundary. The task name along with the date and time it was started and the duration of the current task. Opening the task tile provides a little more summary with regards to covered area, boundary area and the start and stop times. You can also see a summary of the material that is used in the operation. You can start a new operation for the current selected field by pressing new or edit the default name given when a field is selected or the implement is changed. To edit the name, highlight the task you want to edit and then press edit. A task name should be representative of the task performed. For example, spraying summer weeds, maybe summer weed spray. All tasks for the selected field that have been created will be displayed in the list and the default system operation for that task. You can select an existing task if you are required to go back and continue that operation. Selecting an existing task will load any existing coverage data associated to that task. With a field and task selected, you can enter the Precision IQ run screen.